What's up, guys? This is your daily energy reading. And today's reading is sponsored by um, my book that I co-authored with my friends, The Personification of Beauty. You can find it on Amazon or in the link in the description on my personal website. Highly recommend it to women. If you have a mother, if you have a sister, and for you, if you are a woman and you would like a woman empowerment book to read. So today's overall message is for the Twin Flame Collective. A lot of these readings, Spirit gives me about is about personal development, unification of your individual dualities, and how to take you to the next level of life. I think the reason why Spirit gives me these messages, it personally resonates, but also because once you evolve personally, it opens the door for you to also evolve and come together as a unit with your divine partner. These readings, if you go through the channels, they a lot of them focus on the relationship. So I believe Spirit gives me the messages to help people personally evolve and unify the dualities of themselves and become who were they created to be to open the door for union to be possible. So if you're watching my readings and you resonate with it, Spirit is leading you to a better life, to more life, to becoming one with yourself, to resolution of something that's happening in your life and preventing you from becoming one with your feminine energy and your masculine energy. Whatever is called is in the imbalance, spirit is getting you back on track so that your partnership could also be back on track as well. Track as well. Overall energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. I must also mention that um, I want to see you guys to see these cards, but everything is so far apart. That's the best I can do with it. But um, because I don't want much to show in my background anyway the our energy we have the queen of pentacles and we also have the oh breakthrough ace of swords right under there page one related to your passion this is a breakthrough right under there queen of pentacles and a nine of wands this is a big this is about balance and stability but it's about growth uh, maturity evolving to the next level financially in life freedom, liberation, and this is the last ditch effort to get there. These are the steps that Spirit is giving us to evolve to the next level. I know this is about evolving in, I know it's about dualities because we have two princesses, we have two queens, we have two tens, and we have two twos. Um, this is about evolving taking one step at a time to graduate from being a princess or a prince to a queen or a king. It's about overcoming obstacles and doing what it takes to evolve your life, to evolve your business, to get yourself to that next level. It's your time to do so. And these are the steps required. This is the last ditch ever. This is the fight to get to the place you were created to be. We have Six of Cups trying to reveal itself in this deck, and I'll show it. Again, bringing you to partnership and union with your divine partner and yourself. Um, let's begin. We have the Tower. You can't see this, so I'll show you. We have the Princess of Pentacles and the Tower right under it. I'll put some clarifying cards because I wanted to. Um, the Princess of Pentacles with the Tower. Again, this is... Using your hands, being grounded, using your gifts and talents in your business and your career to take your life to change it on another level, to take your life to the next level, to create powerful changes in your life, following your passion, following your goals, but in a practical way. In a this is step one, step two, go one, go two, objective one, objective two type of way, putting it all together. And, and pursuing it, beginning it, pursuing it to create powerful change in your life. Again, because it's time for you to evolve. The tower comes in our life when we are pushing a situation where we have to evolve. And the princess of pentacles is the energy of using this tower moment to fuel your gifts, fuel your, your 
career, fuel if you're an entrepreneur, fueling your ideas and putting them together um, to start, just to begin, so that you can evolve to the next level. Then we have the Princess of Wands. You can see it better here. The Princess of Wands and the Devil. This is using your passion, using your feminine energy, using your passions to be free. It's about freedom. It's the last ditch effort to freedom. And can I make this up? Page of Wands right under this. Page of Wands and the fountain right under the, um, the Nine of Wands when I picked it up. And we're literally talking about the Princess of Wands. Right under it. This is your last ditch effort. This is your time to be free, to release yourself from bondage, to release yourself from a life that you no longer fit. Spiritually, you've evolved. Now it's time for that same level of evolution as above, so below, to manifest in the material world, to manifest in my cult, as they would like to call it in Kabbalah to manifest in the material world, to take you to that next level, to release those change and to be free. Using your passion, coming together with the princess of pinnacles and the princess of wands, use, bringing your passions to a practical level and taking practical steps to make your passion, your dreams a reality. Then we have the queen of swords and the 10 of cups. Queen of swords, there we go. Clarified and added to by the Ten of Cups. This is setting clear goals and objectives that leads you to ultimate fulfillment. So if you have a goal to make six figures, it's clear objectives and goals that's going to lead you there. And not just today I don't have any money, but tomorrow I want a million. No, practical, clear objectives, not led by your emotions, led by the intellect. This is how I'm going to make the first thousand. This is how I'm going to make the first 10,000. This is how I'm going to make and what I'm going to use because I'm using my passions and my gifts in a practical manner to make the first 100,000. Or this is my goal. I want to lead this amount of people and until I lead this amount of people. Just taking the practical steps to meet um your goals, but knowing what those goals are, knowing what leads you to ultimate fulfillment in your life, in your goals, whatever is going to make you happy, and setting practical goals, clear practical goals, goals to get there and objectives. That's about it. That's about that's the energy that I'm getting from the Queen of Swords. Knowing what you want and going after it, and making your intentions clear. Sometimes writing things down and setting goals and objectives and visions and missions is simply to put the energy out there in the universe to make. Your intentions know so that when you're working towards your goal, spirit in the fountain card was right in there. Spirit knows this is what we're working on. The ancestors, guides, um, divine leadership working with you to manifest it. Make it clear. Know what you want to go after it. Then we have the Ace of Wands qualified by the Ten of Wands. Ace of Wands. This beautiful card. Ooh, her nails. Pretty. Clarified by the Ten of Wands. Passion clarified by passion. Um, fire clarified by fire. Rigorously going after your goals. Diligently going after your goals. Um, passionately going after your goals. But following your passion and carrying the responsibility that goes along with it. So if it's your passion to do something and the, and the requirement is to go to school for it, it's like, okay, you have to carry that burden, that responsibility, that requirement to manifest your passions, to stay in line with, um, yeah, to manifest your passions and following your intuition, knowing that it's all working together for your good, but using, carrying those extra burdens and responsibilities to manifest. It's not a burden if it's leading you. It's just a requirement. I don't like to use that. Burden sounds negative, but it's just a requirement. It's a step that's leading you to the fruition of your goals and your passions. So sometimes the bird burden, the Ten of Wands carries kind of like negative energy, but it's not negative. It's just responsibilities. 
It's what you have to do to manifest the things that you desire, your goals, your objectives, your desires. Then you have the moon. <laughs> ay, 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 six of cups keeps wanting to reveal itself. You have the moon clarified by three cards when it's to come out. The moon again. And seven of cups, two of cups. What is the saying? Things are coming together for you. You may not see it. You may not understand why things happen the way they are, or you may not see things moving in your favor. But if you look at this card carefully, this is like, to me, I'm seeing this under the water. Under the surface, things are, it's growing. She's almost over the surface. Her head is almost there. But things are happening beneath the surface. Some people may only, you may only see this. Beneath the surface, though, it's happening for you. You're growing. And you're almost over the surface level. It's almost manifesting in, in reality. It's almost there. But you have to keep going because things may look horrible to you right now. Things may not look like they're happening the way that you want them to, but they are. Things are coming together. Two of Cups. It's manifesting. It's coming together for you. Guys are working with you. The universe is working with you. And you're working with yourself and, and you're... Follow this advice and do what it takes and continue to work hard and dedicate yourself towards your goals and desires and passions. And you will continue to grow. Things will continue to work for you and come together for you. Don't be disillusioned. Don't be fooled by the surface. Don't be fooled by... The, you may not see that thing right now. But if you cover this up, right in the middle you see nothing. But in reality, it's growing. And her head is almost over the water. So this is just saying keep going. Don't worry about how things may look right now. Just put your head in your work. A lot of pinnacles came out here. So I know this is work and idea and passion with a lot of wands as well. Put your head in your work. Um, ignore the the negative energy and feelings that you may see from yourself and others if you're not seeing things happening in your favor but know that when you put the spirit doesn't lie so when you put the energy in your in your ideas when you put the energy in your i wanted to say readings maybe somebody resonates with that but when you put the energy into your ideas and your passions and you set clear goals and objectives and you put one step foot in front of the other in order to evolve and grow to the next level. And you set clear intellectual goals and objectives, clear goals that are practical goals, not emotion led, not, not even intuition led. Practical goals and you just, you work your masculine energy until it manifests. It's going to come and you remain in the flow of the feminine you use those ideas that the feminine gives you. That comes from your feminine. You remain in faith. You remain in tune with the energies. And you just work towards your goals, knowing that everything is working in your favor. And it will happen for you. You got this. It's, it's literally the ninth time. Get up ten. And once that ten is, that's completion. That ten is, that nine is almost there. And that ten is completion. So you got this. Whoever resonates with this, continue to work towards your goals. Um, and, uh, and passions, don't let disillusion, don't let lack, don't let, don't let the energy fool you. And it's not, and I'm not talking about the creative energies and the energies that are flow. Don't let the devil fool you. Don't let negative energy fool you. Because things are really working in your favor. And your passions and, and your desires that's in alignment with why you were created, that's in alignment with your feminine energy, these ideas coming from the feminine, oh, that's going to release you from bondage. If you stay in alignment with your feminine masculine energies, it's going to be your key to be to freedom. This is your key to freedom. You just have to follow it. I wish you all love, life, and more life. If you would like a personal reading, click the link in my description. Comment personal reading on um, this video for a discount. If you just want to quietly order a reading, the link is in my description. Um, but if you want a discount... I'll give you $20 off if you comment. 
my like and reading in this video. Again, I wish you love, light, and more light. Peace. You got this. We got this. This would definitely like. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew.